In this video we're going to look at an example of how to balance rotating masses. So the question was a three row crankshaft has cranks of 100 millimeters radius. Okay, so the three crankshafts uh, are at 150 millimeters radius set at 120 degrees to each other, 120 degrees to each other, one, two, three, and equally spaced with a pitch of 500 millimeters. So there's crankshaft one, crankshaft two, crankshaft three, and they're pitched at 500 millimeters each. And the rotating masses at each crank radius are 30 kilograms, 40 kilograms, and 40 kilograms. So we're told that balance is to be affected by a balance mass in a plane 150 millimeters outside of crank one. 150 millimeters outside of crank one, and another in a plane 750 millimeters outside of plane of crank three. 750 millimeters outside plane of crank three. Uh, the radii of rotation of the masses are to be 225 and 750 millimeters. So that's 225 for A. So we up 225 here, and 750. Uh, millimeters for B. So that's going to be 750 millimeters up here. Okay, so we have to find out what is the mass of A and B and what these angles are. And when we do this question, we're going to measure all the angles from the horizontal, right? So this would be 90 degrees, this would be 210, this would be uh, 330. Okay, so we'll start by taking the moments about A and when I say the moments, we're going to talk about the moments and we're going to look at the horizontal component of those moments. Okay, so the horizontal components will be M1, R1, D1. So mass of 1, the radius of 1, by the distance of 1 from A. Uh, similarly for 2, 3, and the balance mass B. Okay, so for uh, the moments, so for uh, number one from A, it's 30 kilograms, so M1 is 30. The radius is 150, we were told that. The distance is 150 millimeters. I put that into meters uh, just to keep the numbers uh, small. And the angle here, because we're measuring from here, from the vertical, sorry, from the horizontal plane, that angle is 90 degrees, so that's cosine 90. Uh, for item 2, uh, M2 is 40, uh, the radius 2 is again 150, the distance, so it's 500 plus 150, so that's on 650 millimeters. Being consistent, keeping these distances in meters, I put that as 0 0.650, and the angle measured from the horizontal is 330 uh, degrees. And we do the similar with 3 which is 40 uh, at a radius of 150 and the distance is uh, 1.15 meters so 150 millimeters plus 500 plus 500 so there's the moments about A add that together and you get 1.15 and the angle measured from the horizontal is 210 okay the final uh, moment is this balance mass over here which we don't know um, so I've just put it MB, RB, DB, cosine T to B. Okay, so when I put calculate those values out, I get zero for this. I get 3377.5 for that, minus 5975 for this, and MRB, MB, RB, DB, cosine T to B with zero. Rearranging that, we get a value for MB, RB, DB, cosine T to B. Okay. Now uh, we do the vertical component of the moments about A. So it'll be M1, R1, D1, sine T to 1, uh, sine T to 2, sine T to 3, and sine T to uh, B. I'll plug the values back in again. So M1 was 30, the radius was 150, uh, this radius here. The distance from A was uh, 150 millimeters, which I converted to meters and I need to be consistent, so that's 0.15, and now it's a sine of the angle, so the sine of 90. Uh, we do the same for 2, so it's uh, 40 by 150 millimeters by 650 millimeters, which is 0.65, sine 330, and for 3, and for the, um, for the final one out here. So very similar to, to the cosine values, it's just we're getting the sine now.
So there's the values, and when I rearrange them, I get uh, a value for m b r b d b sine t to b. So I have cosine, and now I have the sine. So sine and cosine, they're both positive. So if I have a circle, uh, the only quadrant where all those angles are positive is in here. So I'll draw my angle here. The vertical, sorry, the horizontal component was 2598. The vertical component was 4725. To get the angle here, I just get the arc tan of that, and that works out to be 61 degrees. If I want to get the length of this, which is MBRBDB, okay, that's MBRBDB, uh, I just get the square of uh, these two sides and square root the answer, and that comes to be 5392. So MBRBDB is 5392. I know RB was 750 millimeters because we were told that, and I know the distance out to B was 1.9. Meters, and just rearranging that, I get three point seven eight kgs. An alternative method uh, would be: here's my masses, the thirty forties. There's the radii. There's their distances from the A plane. Uh, there's their angles, and there's the m by r by d. And I could just draw a vector. So if I draw a vector of a length 675 at an angle 90, I get that. I then draw a vector of 3900 zero, zero, uh, at an angle of 330, I get that. I'll now draw an angle, a vector of 6900 zero, zero, at an angle of 210, and I'll get that. And then the solution would be from here to here. And if I measure that, it would be 5392, and if I measure the angle, it would be 61 degrees. So just like before, we'd MBRBD, is now 5392. I know the radius is 750 millimeters, and the distance from the A plane was 1.9, and I can now get a value for MB of 3.78. So that's two, two methods of doing it. Right. We now have B, the mass for B, and uh, we have its angle. So we know it's 3.78, and we know that this angle here now is uh, 61 degrees. I now want to statically balance the, uh, the rotating masses. So this dynamically balance it. I now want to statically balance it. So I'm going to look at the forces about uh, the uh, shaft here. So the forces are really just the mass times this radius. So I get m1 r1 cosine t to 1, m1 r2 cosine t to 2, m3 r3 cosine t to 3, mb rb cosine t to b, and, and our unknown now, which is ma ra cosine t to a. So this is 30, and this is 150. So it's 30 by 50 cosine 90, because that's at 90. It's 40 by 150, 40 by 150 cosine 330, and so on. You can read those yourselves. When I put those values in, that's what they are. So MARA cosine theta works out to be minus 1374. Okay, I'm going to do the same then for the vertical component of the forces. So it's just, just getting the sine. And I'll put those values in. And MARA sine theta works out to be minus 9.5. Okie doke. So, this is negative, this is negative, so the only place where that happens is in this quadrant. So, if I get the inverse tan of that, if I get the inverse tan of that, I get 35 degrees. Okay. But we've been measuring the angles from here, so 35 plus 180, so this value here. Uh, let's draw it in. So that value there, that works out to be 215 um, degrees. Okay, um, 
I have those values now. I, I want to now get M A R A, so the value of this vector. Uh, I should put this to order. So it is the um, this length here. It is the square of one three seven four squared plus one seven or nine seven nine point five squared, which is one six eight four. So M A R A is one six eight seven point four. I know R A is two two five. That was given to us into the question. Then for I can calculate A, which is seven point four nine kgs. All right. An alternative version would be. Um, I now have my masses and I have my angles and radii and there's the vectors so four f so that by that is 4500 and if I um if I draw them so there's 4500 at an angle of 90 then we have 6000 at an angle of 330 I now have 6000 at an angle of 210 and then we had B, which was 2835 at an angle of 61, which is there. So that's my solution. If I measured that, it'd be 1687. And if I measured the angle, it will be 215. So I know MARA is 1687. I know that the distance was to be 225. We were given that in the question. Therefore, the mass is 7.49. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Um, See you soon.